What's going on everybody? Now, I know you guys are watching this right now and you're saying, what are you doing Logan? You said you weren't going to do any more squats. And uh, yeah, I did say that guys. And um, if you guys watch this channel, you know how much squats mean to me. They mean everything to me. It's my favorite exercise. Leg day is my favorite day. I just love squats. Um, and you know, I got this new belt from Rise that I ordered. I actually ordered it a long time ago, but it just never came in. And uh, excuse me, guys, <laughs> had a burp. Um, yeah, I got this Rise belt, and I hurt my back before it came in. And, you know, when I hurt my back, I was you know I was in a lot of pain, and I was like, you know, that's it, guys. No more squatting. I'm not gonna do it anymore. It's just not worth it. And then the belt came in, I put the belt on, and I started, you know, if you guys watch the channel, like I said, you guys know I wear the belt for everything. I wear the belt on chest day, I wear the belt on back day, I wear the belt on arm day. I just wear it. A lot of people give me crap about it. They, they always ask me, why am I wearing it? You know, take that thing off. It's, you're not even, you know, you don't need it. But, you know, I don't care what people say. I like it. It makes me feel better. And if it makes me feel better, then it's going to make me lift even better. So kind of getting off subject so I got this belt look I spent a lot of money on this belt and the main reason why I got it was for squats or for leg day so I put it on I started using it and I, I started squatting I just started to do very light like uh, with just 45s on the side and my back felt so much better it, it I just had so much more support from the regular belts that we have at the uh, at, at the gym right there just it's just a different feel from a regular belt and so I said okay you know what my next leg day I'm, I mean the next leg day I'm gonna incorporate squats back into it and I'm gonna you know document it and I'm gonna do a commentary on how I feel how I feel the next day and so here it is guys you guys are already in the middle of the workout and as you can see I'm I this is the heaviest I went right there and so you guys just watched the squat workout now I apologize you're gonna see some different workouts right here but let's get back to squat the belt really helped a lot guys I didn't strain it it wasn't sore the next day it actually felt really good now again I was keeping it pretty light guys keeping it really light uh, as you guys saw I think I went up to like 265 I believe I, 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 I I'll have a double check to go back but anyways it wasn't it wasn't heavy is what I'm trying to say and so I'm very I'm very encouraged by that I have a positive mindset about it and I'm gonna keep staying positive because again guys I really do miss squat and I'm gonna keep doing squat well I'm gonna incorporate squat slowly back into the leg day but again guys I'm not gonna lift with my ego just because it's feeling good I'm not gonna take it fast I'm gonna always stay lightweight I don't know when or if I'll ever go back to heavy squats but right now I'm just very happy that I'm able to incorporate squats back into the workout and I'll leave it as that so here's the last exercise guys I hope you guys enjoy this commentary if you have any questions or you have any comments or anything you want to say uh, about you know incorporating squats back in uh, please feel free guys and uh, we'll see you on the next clip what's going on everybody you know it is goody beats and uh, on my way guys go pick up Javon we're about to knock out a uh, shoulder and chest day and uh, yeah, today is Wednesday, uh, I think September 15th, guys. Two days until the Olympia. Absolutely buzzing. I haven't been to an expo. Well, I guess I went to Europa in Dallas, but that really was like nothing compared to body power. Uh, so I haven't been to like a real expo in, um, in, a, in a couple of weeks, man. I mean, a couple of months, guys, since uh, May. So yeah, really looking forward to it, man. Really looking forward to it. And I apologize, guys, that I can't really talk to the camera right now because I'm driving. I don't have my seatbelt on and I'm vlogging, so I definitely do not recommend that you guys do anything that I'm doing right now. Uh, do as I say, not as I do. So yeah, picking up Javon, and yeah, two days, guys, two days, and I get to go meet up with a bunch of the machine uh, fitness athletes that are gonna be there. Danny Keen, uh, Dan Yeomans, uh, John Glaude, 
Brian Turner, Tim Thibodeau, so I cannot wait, guys. I'm gonna be periscoping and everything. So I'm gonna try to get this video up tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, so that'll be one day out from the Olympia, just kind of build up the hype and get everything going. I also am going to be on Machine Fitness's Periscope. Uh, I'll be Periscoping, you know, as much as I can, guys. So definitely be on the lookout. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go pick up Javon and we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so uh, just got to Texas State. I feel like a, I feel old, man. I feel like a parent picking up my student or picking up my kid. Uh, let's see if you guys can see Javon. There he is, right there. He's vlogging as well. Nice. Check him out. Check him out. Not chest. Wait. What are we working on? Yeah, chest and shoulders, man. Chest and shoulders. So, about to do that. All right, guys. So, we'll see you at the gym. Somebody